Hey guys, Matt here uh, with Carolina Coops, and today we are in Accord, New York. Uh, we are, I don't know, about an hour outside New York City or so, and it is January 8th. It is cold today. It's about, actually it warmed up a little. We started this morning uh, with the coop. It was single digits. It's about, I think, 16 degrees right now. And real quick, I'm going to try to go through this coop behind me. Now, if you watch a lot of our videos, you're going to see a lot of the Carolina coop, which is a great chicken coop. We do them day in and day out. Um, our specialty is custom, and that's exactly what this is behind you. So there's a lot to go through. I'm going to try to go through it real quick. And if you have questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So this coop is just a hen house, and it's eight foot wide, 20 foot long. Down underneath, it's on four wheels called a running gear, which is basically like a child's wagon. The, the two wheels in the front move. I'll show you a little bit more about that here in a little bit. Uh, on the back here is the door to get inside the hen house. And then we have a little chicken door here to let the chickens out and they hop up and down the stairs. This coop is designed to be moved around. So right here, these stairs are uh, same thing you'd see on a camper. They fold up just like that to get them out of the way. Very simple. And then uh, we'll come around here. Inside we have a rain barrel that is fed by the gutter to a downspout, diverter. Uh, water continues onto the ground and then this uh, line here will feed the rain barrel on the inside. From there we have it coming down into a water bar and if you actually want to come around here maybe get a close up a little bit. What we've done is we've done a food safe PVC water bar. It's on a thermostatically controlled pump so that water is constantly flowing through when it gets cold. There's also a heating element that goes through the inside uh, of the water bar to keep that from freezing and there's also a heating element inside the rain barrel to help keep that from freezing. So this is just a great way to have the water bar system and keep it from freezing because if you have the system already you know it's very very tough to keep it from doing just that. And also this coop holds can hold up to 80, uh, 80 to 100 chickens and I have uh, water nipples on each side and these are our favorite spring loaded horizontal water nipples. So we'll move on around here and with all chicken coops, it doesn't matter whether it's small, big, we like big, but um, make sure you always have tons of cross ventilation. And what we did here is we have four of these, two on each side. They are hinged with gas struts and they push these doors open and it's backed up with the very popular black PVC coated half inch hardware cloth to keep predators out and it just allows for tons of ventilation. Uh, our client here, he the chickens have been in here, what, maybe 24 hours now. Uh, they're getting acclimated to the new coop. we got all kinds of different breeds, and we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get on the inside. Uh, but those are the doors. Again, ventilation, absolutely uh, critical to have tons of it. We'll come around here, take a look at a couple things. Here's the hitch. For the running gear and this is what steers when you do go to move it hook it up to a tractor or your truck and this is what will you use to tow the entire coop around when that time comes these stairs are on a french cleat so they're very easy to remove uh, again when you do go to move the coop around and then up here are the uh, doors to the egg boxes and we got a lot of girls actually already laying which is a great sign again they're brand new to this coop uh, i did check it not too long ago actually i'll prove it to you They've already picked out their favorite spot. Oh, the eggs are still warm. We got eggs up here already. Beautiful. Already laying. They've already picked out a spot. Oh, and this door obviously opens up too to give you full access to the other boxes over here. And then we'll come around here. We got more of the flip out doors to allow tons of ventilation. We haven't put the feed in yet, but underneath here is a feeder that is uh, gravity fed by a big food safe barrel on the inside of the coop. And the chickens, when they're out free ranging out in the pasture, they'll be able to come up to this and get feed uh, along with all the other bugs, maybe table scraps that the client will bring out for them. All right, let's hop on the inside. We do got chickens in here, so it might get a little noisy. 
I'll do the best I can to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, actually, if you want to stay right down there, we'll just show this real quick. There's the rain barrel. Um, that's where the water goes. We have an overflow on it. We have all kinds of electricity for the, uh, the pump, the heating element for the water bar, and the heating element for inside the rain barrel. And we just made custom doors to close this off. And then over here, this is pretty simple. This is just a kind of food safe barrel. Uh, you fill this up with feed. There's a hole in the bottom. It'll feed the trough and should give the girls. And I think you got a couple boys in with this flock. Give them plenty of food for a while. So it's pretty much a set it, forget it. Um, we'll come on in a little bit further. And this is inside the hen house. We have three on each side, three roost bars on each side, 17 foot long, uh, so a total of six. We put in a couple polycarbonate uh, roofing panels to help continue to add daylight for when the, when the uh, doors are closed. That's very helpful for the chickens. It's great for egg production in the winter time to help with that. And you'll notice along the bottom, just like all our coops, we have the food safe high density polyethylene. So the client here can incorporate the deep litter system, which is everyone's favorite. And if you're not sure what that means, that means you can go two, three years before you got to clean out this hen house. It's healthier for the chickens. It's a great natural heat source, especially on days like today. Uh, down at the far end, you can see the nest boxes. And just like I showed you on the outside, they've already started nesting. They're already happy. If you notice the pink hue to all the wood, Douglas fir pine, very high quality pine, pocket screw joiner, just like all our coops. Everything's the same as far as the quality of construction. Just one big hen house with a bunch of happy chickens. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make sure you guys got a chance to see something a little bit different, custom. Uh, again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave some comments down below. Um, I'll probably leave my phone number at the end of this uh, video. Feel free to give us a call. Or of course, you can always check us out at carolinacoops.com. Thanks for watching.